I was only a young boy at the time, but how could I forget the year 1847? Our hearts were broken when we left Roscommon, but we pray for a better life in North America. We didn't know what horror lay ahead of us. We waited in Liverpool before our stormy passage across the Atlantic for two long months. Men, women, and children were cramped together in bunks, surrounded by death and sickness. The air was suffocating and filth was everywhere, especially between our berths. Drinking water ran low and food was reduced to one meal per day. Then the dreaded famine fever brought more suffering and misery, and our poor father was struck down when we reached Gros Hill. My brother Patrick and I were led by a priest to his deathbed. Remember your soul and your liberty. These were his dying words, which still echo in my head years later. We left Ireland as a family, but arrived in Canada as orphan. Mercifully, the Charitable Society of Catholic Lady placed us in the care of Georges Bouc in the southwest of Quebec City. We were raised in the French language, but still speak with an Irish voice. With God's help, we have survived this far. As our Father looks down from heaven today, I hope we've made him proud. God delivered us to this new country, and since the day we arrive, Patrick and I have dedicated our lives to him.